I think there's still hope. I know England played here against um, South Africa, I think about five, six years ago. We were four down overnight. Um, I remember Collingwood played a good innings and, and saved the game for us, and the wicket's still pretty good. So we've still got some batting to come. Um, we're hoping AB can score the slowest 40 in the history of the game. <laughs> and, uh, and we've still got Fuff, who's done it before. JP was just at the back end of 100. Um, so there's still some good batting options for us to come. Um, it's, it's difficult when you're 250 behind and the guys are on none down and you try and put a man in the boundary and then the ball goes through where the slip should be and then you bring the man in the boundary uh, back in and then the ball goes through the boundary type thing. So it's always going to be tough when you're 250 runs behind and it's, uh, there's no exact science as to go about, how to go about three slips in a gully or sweepers or six fielders. So Look, I don't think we um, bowl as well as we could have. Um, there's no doubt about that, but look, you've got to give credit to David Warner. He's playing really well at the moment, and he's he's hot, um, and he's he's in great form, and he's he's made us pay. So good on good good one for him. Yeah, look, it's an emotional space. Look, um, if everybody's, I mean, Graham's been the leader of this side now for 12 years. Most everybody in that team, when they play South Africa, they know Graham Graham Smith's the captain. All of them started their career with Graham Smith uh, being the captain of the national side. So it's definitely a a bit of a new era that's going to have to dawn. We've obviously lost Smith, Callis, I suppose, Boucher here in a bit ago. So um, those are three big players, and, and we need to start moving ahead now and take the team in a new direction, I suppose. I suppose when guys like Sean Pollock stopped playing, um, uh, people thought, geez, we, Alan Donald stopped playing. I'm going to replace those guys, and they'll stay in rocks up, and the morning, Morkel, and the Vernon, and Philander. So I think we're blessed in South Africa that we've always got some, some depth and we've always got some good players. And I suppose it's now time for the guys like the Hashims and the Dales and the Mornays and the Vernons and the Abies to become those type of icon players um, so that the younger players can feed of them. They've learned their trade from the Calluses and the Smiths and now they've got to import that knowledge onto the next generation of protein players. Yeah, look, I suppose when you play Australia, it's always going to be tough. Um, if um, We always want to win every single series. Um, we'll obviously take a draw right now and run very quickly um, but it's, 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 it's always going to be tough it's always competitive series it's always going to be determined on one or two spells or, or one or two decisions or one or two innings so I, I wouldn't have taken a door at the start of the series uh, we always play to win um, because we <coughs> particularly with the history there that South Africa have never beaten Australia in, in South Africa there was an opportunity to make history and um, at the moment it doesn't look like it's going to go that way no of course it's um, I mean, like it was in Adelaide, like it was against India a few weeks ago, we've, we've managed to get ourselves out of holes like this um, before. So I think it's a, it's a big plus for us that we can call on that experience, knowing that we've done it before. The batters that are still to come and the batters that are in have played the roles and played the innings that have saved games in situations like this before. So we, still, we know it's very much in Australia's favour, probably 65, 35, 70, 30 at the moment. But if we can get to lunch, maybe one more down, it'll maybe get to 60, 40. If we can get to T, maybe six down, it's maybe 50-50. So we've got to take a session from that session. Yeah, you know, it's, um, you know, continuing my form from our, our summer, it's fantastic that, you know, I can contribute to the team's success and, uh, you know, hopefully I can I can keep doing that in the future and um, at the moment, you know, we're to come out and get six wickets and that would make me much happier. I'm just, I, you know, I'm just elated that I'm in, in good form. I'm, I'm playing, you know, I'm probably... And playing the best cricket I've, I've had in my career so far, it's it's fantastic to to feel like you know when you go out there you can you can take on the, the world's best as as I have so far and you know, it's an amazing feeling. But you know it would be better if we win this game. Yeah, you know sometimes I I think that when I do deliver something in the media, I, I, I probably do say it in a way where it does get misun I, I do get misunderstood. But you know I'll, that's how I've been brought up. I've been brought up to be honest. Um, I'm always going to continue to be honest and not cross that line. I want to keep working on my ability to do that and uh, not give you guys ammo to, to write things. Yeah, you don't always want to play like that, but um, you know, it, when there's a little bit of extra pressure on, I, I, do, I do find another gear to change and, and to, to keep going. And I think, you know, it does help me sometimes, but I, I think the other thing is, is when I get out there and they start giving me a little bit of banter, I love that I'm in the contest then. If they're not going to talk to me when I'm out there, I'll try and niggle at them. I'll try and say something when I bat. But I've, I've sort of, you know, ventured away from that because now I've given ammo out in the media or, 
you know, in, in previous games. So, you know, I love it when they come at me for challenge. Yeah, obviously the issue last time was that the ball wasn't reversing um, in, in Adelaide. So, you know, we've got that in our advantage, but we've still got to come out tomorrow and, and, and play our best cricket. We've got to bowl stump to stump. We've got to play boring cricket. We know that they're not going to go after the runs. They're probably just going to, you know, bang it back to the, to the bowler. So we have to really work hard. We're going to have to try and create some chances. Um, you know, we've done that in the past where we, we have done so, but we've got to come out strong and, and take these six wickets and hopefully we can get an early one in the morning.